Now everybody, for today's video, I bought the cheapest joystick you can find on Amazon. Yes! Today I'm presenting you the Speedlink Black Hawk Flight and Joystick for PC, which on Amazon only costs $10. Which I thought is very interesting. You know, you know, recently on this channel, I've been reviewing a lot of new flight simulator hardware that recently came out, like this Thrustmaster joystick, you know, which is like Airbus branded, kind of looks like the A320. You know, these have been very nice nice, but also pretty expensive. This one, for example, cost a lot north of $100, which of course, I mean, you know, that can be a bit expensive for everyone, which of course, $10, that's quite a different story. So I thought it could be interesting to maybe step down the budget a bit to $10. Now really, you can buy this on Amazon right now. According to Amazon, it came out in 2006. Also, the reviews aren't very brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be a perfect video. But you know what? Let's just give the Black Hawk Vibration Flight Stick a bit of a try. Yeah, that's what does it say here? Submerge yourself in the action with force vibration. The right equipment for every situation. That rhymed. Also, this is giving me a bit of sex toy vibes, if I'm being honest. You know, this whole force vibration. USB touch edition. Ooh. All right, this is great. By the way, look how ghetto this box is, by the way. I know this is, you know, 2006 and I'm pretty sure this has been, you know, just standing around in a warehouse for a long, long time. And they're just really trying to get rid of it right now, which is why it's only cost, you know, $6 to you. Anyway, let me take a bit of a look. By the way, I don't know what this currency is. This is the thousand ninety nine something. I'm pretty sure this package, though, came from Slovakia. So, um, that's interesting. All right, anyway, let me just open it right here. All right, looking good, yeah. We're already greeted here with our beautiful joystick here. Now, as you can see, it is actually brand new. It's never actually been unpacked before, which is, I mean, this is $10. That's crazy. Now, also in this box, we have this CD right here. Also like an instruction manual, but who, who cares? Right, and now we are greeted only with our beautiful joystick, everybody. And this is what it looks like. Come on, let's get another box right here, yes. And you know what? My first impressions, and I mean, I've already taken a bit of a look at this joystick before, you know, recording this video. And this is actually not that bad. Right, we have like a proper rubber surface right here. This, of course, is cheap plastic. But you know what? No, the feel isn't all too bad. Something that's cool as well is that you can pretty much use this joystick on, you know, both hands. As it's, as you can see, very much symmetrical. So yes, uh, even captain control is possible. You've got plenty of buttons. You know, this left and right button, which controls the rudder. You can also do that, you know, by twisting the joystick, which is really cool. This is actually fully functional of a joystick. You even have a little bit of a throttle lever right here. This one is very miserable, but you know, if you need one, you have one. That's great to see. Um, anyway, uh, there's some more buttons here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that turbo button right here. This is what we'll need for the Concorde. Yeah. Now, now, even though this is from 2006, it does have USB, so let's just Plug it in. And actually setting up this joystick here on your flight simulator is very much easy. You don't even need this driver CD, right? This was something that very much surprised me. Here we go, you can already see right here, it is automatically recognized by the flight simulator USB joystick. Something that I didn't get to work though was the force vibration. For that one, I guess you need some drivers that are just not compatible with the modern flight simulators. I mean, this thing came out with FSX pretty much in 2006. This is truly ancient. I mean, seriously, I was very much surprised by the setup process here with this joystick. I mean, this is technically older than a person who can legally buy alcohol in Germany. So that's something to think about. Anyway, yeah, this is all set up right here. Something I do recommend doing though before, you know, setting off to a flight is going into the game controller settings here of your PC and, uh, you know, recalibrating the joystick because it likes to be very much messed up. In fact, it, uh, it very much is right now. Uh, so we have to uh, recalibrate right there right here. Looking good. And as you can see, yeah, this is very nicely working here in the flight simulator. I like that. And you know, we can already spawn into like an A320. No problem at all. I mean, honestly, I'm quite amazed by the smoothness of, of the setup right here. This thing is 16 years old. This is good. All right, but now to the actual flying. Welcome aboard an A320. Bit of a controlling check. Looking good. Now, this is going to be interesting. Oh, this is very sensitive, this joystick. Anyway, maybe let's try to take off right here. I am using my proper throttle control for this one, but let's go ahead and take off right here. Release the parking brakes on this A320, and we see how well this works. Now, can again control rudder with your twisting. That is looking all right. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, view around the cockpit. That works here as well with this POV button thing. Let's take off. Yes! 
Or not. Oh, you know what? The problem now is the probably the runway. But there we go. That's gone kind of well. Now, oh yeah. I can see. If you are genuinely broke and have to buy this joystick, I would definitely recommend, um, you know, reducing the sensitivity here. Because it's just absolutely crazy. But so far, you know what? This is not bad. But now, let me try to come in also for a landing again on board our A320. For that one, let's just go ahead and turn left. Because, you know, of course, everyone needs a joystick that can be buttered with, you know. Now, on the feeling, of course, this, by the way, feels super cheap. I just wanted to mention that. I have to mention that. Like, it's just very light of a control, you know, nothing like a real plane where you sometimes really have to even get some work here in those arms. But this is fine. Now, let's make sure I'm coming for a landing now. Let's down now. Okay, that was actually a proper butter landing indeed, but still this joystick is very sensitive. This is uh, gonna take a bit of, you know, um, adjusting still, but this is great! There we go, there's been a proper butter landing right here. And then even a stop. You know what, pretty much a landing that would make even Sully proud right there. This is what I'm talking about. Alright, you know what, I'm starting to like this joystick a little bit. Like, of course, it... I mean, you know... It weighs nothing as well, by the way. This is great to see. But I want to test out also the turbo mode. Can you see that right here? Tur turbo? Yeah. All right. And for that one, let's go ahead and jump onto the Concorde again, which of course does have turbo. So let's go ahead and uh, get the nose visor down. Let's already try to go full power here on board our Concorde, but no afterburner just yet. For that one, it's time to press the turbo button. Yeah. And there we go. Just like that. We've got turbo. Let's take off. I mean, this is the, <laughs> the thing about the Concorde, right? This plane is incredibly kind of hard to fly. All right, very successful test flight. Luckily, we've got cheats, but that's that's good. Yeah. God damn it. So yes, everybody, what's there to say about the Speedling Blackhawk? It's not bad. Now, of course, we don't know much about the reliability of this joystick. You know, these magnets right here that receive the inputs. They'll probably break tomorrow. But you know what? You know, spending 10 US dollars here on a joystick like this is much better still than using a mouse yoke. And I mean, you know, I hope everyone out there has like a 10 spare dollar, right? Something that no one ever has gotten to work was the forced vibration. That would have been cool. I would definitely keep this in my basement where it will probably uh, rot or something. Something, maybe like as a replacement or, or something like that. I mean, I could do like a giveaway of this joystick, but the thing is the shipping cost would just be absolutely 100% higher than what this product costs. But yeah, that's another story. So yeah, guys, should you buy this? If you're very broke and you're very desperate, I think yes. If you have a bit more money, I would spend it on something like, uh, I don't know, the proper Thrustmaster or something. These are not very expensive either. This is much better here. You know, the, we all know this. This is basically a legend right here. Also came out, ah, this is 2007. So not much uh, younger, this one, is it? Anyways, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mike, Jacob, Tanner, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, The Human, Robbie, Tim, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Calvin, Kelly Chaos, Ryland, Moritz, Jackie Boy, New the York, Shadow, Noah, and Death Rider.